Hello, good evening and welcome to Look North. On the programme tonight. They were scared to leave their homes as thugs and drugs took over. The people of Rutland Street in Grimsby were living in fear. It was getting terrible, getting waste with drug dealing on the corners, children running up and down. It was absolutely a nightmare. But that has all changed. The drug dealers arrested and the thugs gone, replaced by hanging baskets and local pride. You see it in the hanging baskets, you see it in the smiles on people's faces, the fact that neighbours are out talking to each other. People feel like they've got their street back. A year after my special report led to police action and a community fight back, I'm back in Rutland Street to see the difference for myself. Good evening. They were the scenes that shocked a community and the police into action. Antisocial behaviour, drug dealing and criminality, all prevalent on one street in Grimsby, Rutland Street in the East Marsh area. Then residents were too afraid to speak out. We've gone back to see what life is like now. Our reporter Philip Norton is there. Yes, Peter, 12 months ago, as you know, because you were here in the middle of all those problems, we could never have imagined of doing a live report here from Rutland Street. But um, you look around now, there's quiet and calm. There's been a real difference. What a difference a year can make. Where once gangs were hanging around on street corners, hanging baskets now sway in the breeze. 12 months ago, BBC Look North highlighted how drugs, antisocial behaviour and gangs were tearing this community apart. Residents were living in fear. Somebody had to do something about, about it down here because it was getting terrible, getting waste with drug dealing on the corners, this, and children running up and down, everything. It was absolutely a nightmare. Nightmare. Right! Since our coverage, Drug dens have been raided by Humberside police. Troublemakers arrested or forced out. And the community here started their own fight back. They formed East Marsh United and the clean-up began. First thing we could do was clean in the streets of litter. And we went out every Saturday morning for weeks and weeks and weeks just cleaning up all the litter, pulling out all the weeds and stuff. We have a fly tipping run every two weeks now where we move all the street furniture that people leave and that's due to things like the rogue landlords and so on. We've just stood up essentially and said no this is ours we are caring for it we are looking after it and all of a sudden there is this sense of hope. People like Pat and Martin joined up they've lived here more than 50 years and saw us filming last year but were too afraid to even say hello through their window for fear of being labelled a grass. It shows you the difference, you know. I mean, I would have come out, but there again, what I got right. set onto and all this, you know. Yeah, because they're threatening to fill him in. They're threatening to fill me in and all sorts. And the threatening don't dare go out. You know, the police really got stuck into them. We feel, feel a lot safer, a lot safer in it now. But uh, Look North really kicks the hurt in it. I think so. You see it in the smiles on people's faces, the fact that neighbours are out talking to each other. People feel like they've got their street back. Walking down this street last year, it was chaos. Only one resident was brave enough to talk to me. We had eggs thrown at us, and afterwards she faced torment from gangs. I've since spoke to her. She's enjoying a much quieter life now, and like many here, is full of praise for the work the police have done. So over the past year, we've carried out 19 warrants in the area. That's resulted in 42 arrests. We've also confiscated around £20,000 worth of drugs. And we've also confiscated around £100,000 in cash and also property under the Proceeds of Crime Act. The police say they couldn't have had such an impact without the community's help. From being afraid to speak out, now people freely give information to officers about who's causing trouble. It's a, it's a different, totally different community from where we were. Be people would just keep themselves to themselves last year, like, like you've seen now today. They are speaking to us. Uh, we, are, we are receiving information uh, in relation to people who are committing offences. Just executed a drugs warrant on Wellington Street, just at the end of this road here. 
where large amounts of stolen property were housed. That, that was all from information received from members of the community. Last year, Ward Councillor Steve Besant stood here calling for government help. I would welcome a government minister to come here and, to be honest, sort this lot out. So it was one of the worst interviews that I've ever carried out. Youngsters all around us, we couldn't get filming or anything, but just look at the peace and quiet now. You only need to look behind me, you do, and see all that hanging baskets. What a turnaround, and the community have resolved this issue basically themselves with the help of the police, the help of the council, but the community have brought this forward. There's no denying the East Marsh still has its problems with drugs and antisocial behaviour. But a year ago, hanging baskets wouldn't have stood a chance in this street. Now loved and cared for, they're a symbol of the green shoots of a better future. Well, Phil, I suppose the question is, how have they achieved this and where have all the, the drug dealers and the criminals gone to? Well, Peter, the police tell me that it boils down to one word, and that's trust. The, uh, the community here has learned to trust the police to do the job that they're asking of them, and in return, uh, the police are learning to trust the community more, and they're telling the community here exactly what's going on in the street a lot more, and they say, as a result, they're, they're getting lots more information. They say the police raids are still ongoing, uh, their work is not done, they say, and that will continue. And just to tell us a little bit more, then, about the impact that it's had on this street, I'm joined by a few people you might recognise from the people just there. I've got uh, Pat, we saw you in the piece. So yeah. You're one of the, the longest serving residents in this yes, street. we've been down here 50 odd years we have and uh, the street last year was absolutely shocking with drugs, everything, antisocial behaviour. We had it next door where we lived and it was absolutely terrible. How is it now? I live a lot better, I live a lot better. Yes, we've got this group, haven't we, Billy? Oh, yeah. And um, we've decided to do the plants and everything along Rutland Street and that and it's made a difference, we think. I'm going to go on to Billy now then. Right. Billy, we, we saw you in the piece from uh, EMU, you're, you're known as East Martians. East Marsh United, yeah. How important was the community role in this after the, the, the stories that we highlighted? I think it's made all the difference. Uh, we worked after Look North came along, after the police went in, very heavy, very hard actually. Um, we stood up and we just said, we're going to stand together and we're going to make the change round here. And I feel like it's really happening now. Thank you very much, Billy. Now, I'm also joined by uh, Canon John Ellis. Uh, works, you work with a lot of young people at the Shalom Youth Centre here in, uh, in, the, in the East Marsh. Just sum up the difference you've seen in this area. Well, it's just lifted people's morale. Where there was despair, there's now beginning to be hope. And uh, this is just the start. I think this group is going to transform this community with the plans they've got for the future. And I'm so proud to be associated with them. What do you see for the future? Um, well, the problems that they have with alleyways and housing, empty houses, you can see them all around here, these empty houses, they've got plans to sort that. And um, it's there's just the sky's the limit, really. Once they've, They're such a determined group and they work so, so hard, uh, day in, day out, to make a difference. And they deserve everything. That's brilliant. Thank you very much, all of you, for, for joining us uh, tonight. Now, and, uh, okay. you know, 12 months ago, we would have been targeted ourselves just for being here, Peter. Now, looking next year, because of these hanging baskets, uh, to enter Grimsby in bloom, who would have thought that? Who would have you. thought it? Uh, fabulous news. Uh, great news and good to be able to start on a, a good news story tonight. Well done to all of the uh, residents of uh, East Marsh and, of course, uh, Humberside Police as well. And don't forget, if you have a story that you think we should know about, uh, maybe uh, where perhaps we can help, then do get in touch, drop us uh, an email and give us the details.